<laughs> Careful. <laughs> People here do not stop for pedestrians the same way. Uh, no, they don't. But it's fine. Uh, no. no, 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 no. I'm taking you somewhere. Well, I'm taking you somewhere you've always wanted to go. It's just you haven't had a chance. Yeah, because last time you were in the city, it was during the winter, so it was closed. It doesn't make any sense why they closed it in the winter. It's not like they're growing real oranges there, but... <laughs> and it's just called that. No, it's, it's just a gallery, though. It's my favorite gallery in, in all the city. I mean that. I don't... I... Like, yeah, sure, the Louvre is, like, impressive in size and scale, but... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of other, there's a lot of other great museums, but there's just something about this one that's special. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just Monet's water lilies. I just love them. I just love them. That's why I want to, you know, take you there. We could look at it together. Because when, I don't know, when you see them, they just blow you away. I don't think there's any other piece of art that I've stared at that has made me feel that way before. Yeah, movies, sure, but not like a painting. I've never looked at a painting before like this and been so moved and just like... Yeah, it, it's crazy. It's like he's reaching back through time to talk to us. And every time I look at the canvas... I can like hear his voice. Not like, not really, because I have no idea what Monet sounds like, but it feels like that. It feels like he's, he's talking through it, through the paintings. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you like it as much as I do. I, I think your jaw will hit the floor. Typically, people do when they walk down the staircase and then they just see the first gallery. And they're usually awestruck. Yeah. Oh, look. Right down there. Eiffel Tower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can kind of see it sometimes in the breaks of the buildings. Mm hmm. If you're on, like, the right side of the city, which we are. Uh, well, I was figuring after this we can go, like, to a cafe or something. Because I'm kind of peckish. Uh, there should be one. Maybe a couple streets over from the orangery. Yeah, I mean, there's corner cafes everywhere, and they're all really, really good. But there's one in like particular I want to go to because it's on top of the building instead of on the street corner, and I want to view. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not extra. I'm just saying, you know, you come all this way, you want to view. I mean, I have a great view already. No, not as the Eiffel Tower, so like, yeah, view. I agree. I wish there were spaces like this in the States. Like, it's just a big open park. And it does feel a little bit like Central Park, but nicer. It just feels nicer. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to do the Love Lock Bridge. Because the city hates it. They are begging people. They're like on their hands and knees begging people to stop putting locks on the bridges. Because it breaks the bridges. They come by every, I don't even know. They come by like once a week with the uh, bolt cutters. And they go through and they bolt cut <laughs> locks off the bridge. Off, Yeah, I mean, yeah, the Love Lock Bridge. But also the other ones too. Because people have been putting on the other bridges. Oh my god. You ask any Parisian, they hate it. They don't want it. <laughs> Stop breaking our bridges is what they're saying. Yeah. Apparently it's super heavy. It's like thousands and thousands of pounds of, of locks. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather lock you down with a ring than on a bridge, ideally. Yeah. I mean, it is a beautiful bridge. We're going to go to it because it's cool. But, you yeah, know, we're not going to we're not gonna add to it. Nah. There's, there's definitely better love lock stuff than the love lock bridge in Paris. Uh... I'm like, now you put me on the spot. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. But I know there definitely has to be. <laughs> well, we can make our own. Yeah. Yeah, we should. 
What do you want to do? No, I know you had a list of, of like, what do you want to do in Paris? <laughs> we can do that. Yeah, I'm up for it. You only, I mean, you don't come to Paris all the time, so I think that'd be great. I mean that. I, I think it would be a lot of fun. Baby, watching you shop is never boring. I get to watch you put on clothes. That is, I get to watch you put them on and take them off. That is wonderful for me. I mean that. It is It is a fun experience. Especially here. It's not going to be like normal shopping. It'll be different. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a little bit more expensive though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you might have to fly economy back. Yeah, it depends on how much you spend. Yeah, I mean, you only get a couple trip to Paris every so often, so I wanted to make it special. I figured you deserved it. You've been working so hard. Baby, you have. You've been busting your ass at work. You need a vacation. You need some time away. Sometimes just clear your head. I figured this would be perfect. Hey! <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't predict that. Just because I'm in Paris doesn't mean that. Yeah. People come to Paris all the time for other reasons. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can search the suitcase. I'll never find it. I know you packed the suitcase. But you didn't pack my backpack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why I was so insistent on it. I was like, I need to have my backpack. It's for my laptop, I promise. Yeah. Oh, you're not gonna find it when you go back to the hotel room. It's it's well hidden. If you keep trying to find the surprise, you're gonna ruin it. You are. Yeah, the more you look, the more you're gonna try to ruin your own surprise. I don't know why you like doing that. You love ruining your own surprises. It's your favorite activity. <laughs> it is. It really is. Oh, be careful. Alright. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a little bit of trash in the street, but it's okay. It's part of the charm of the city. Yeah. I still find it charming. As much as I come back here, I always find it charming. Oh, I love it way more than London. Even though I don't speak the language, I just like it more than London. London's fine, but it's always gray and... Even though it's historic, it's historic in like a way that isn't, I don't know, that doesn't have me hooked in the same way as the city. Yeah, it just, it must be that. It must be like, <laughs> it must be that. I don't know why there's such a strange affinity and such like a, there's such a strong romantic notion. Even when you say the word Paris, it invokes like red and romance and yeah, like Moulin Rouge and art and sophistication. I don't know, just something about it. Even in the word, when you just close your eyes and say Paris, what do you think of? <laughs> See? Yeah. But I also feel like it's kind of exotic for us, because we have to go across an entire ocean to get here. If I had to drive, I, f I don't know if I'd have the same like magic in my heart about it. <laughs> I guess that's true. We drive to Disney World and there's plenty of magic there still, so maybe driving wouldn't change anything. Yeah. But I just can't help but picture myself, like, in another life a long time ago. Like, writing or working here in Paris, doing something. Yeah. I mean, if you want to believe in past lives and those kind of things. I'd like to think that I was here once before. It feels like I have. Yeah, but I do love these old cities. I love Florence, I love Rome, I love city Venice, ugh. I love cities that ooze history in the streets. Where thousands of lives have been lived and lost and lived and lost over and over again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I should have a stronger affinity for New York City then. I don't think it has enough history. Even DC feels young on like a timeline compared to these older cities. These republics that have been around forever. Yeah, the same thing happens when we go there. Like in India. Those are the places in India that are, just feel old. 
It just feels so old. I think it's magical. I think it's truly magic. Yeah. Oh, we're almost there. Yeah, you can see it's that building right over there. Yeah, the like greenhouse looking one. <laughs> it used to be an orange grove, so the orangerite before it was an art gallery. I think they grew oranges there. Um Yeah, because the Louvre complex was a palace, I think. I remember. I think for the Sun King? Louis the Fourteenth? Oh man, don't my French history is so weak. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I used to be so much more on top of my French history game, but my French history game is pretty weak. I think it's the Sun King. I think he, he made this palace, or it was... Ah, God, uh, don't quote me. I could be completely wrong. But yeah, I think so. And so, the orangery is just where he grew oranges. Not him personally, I mean, obviously, like, someone did it for him. A king typically doesn't grow his own oranges. <laughs> I said typically. He might have been a gardener, might have agreed them, I don't know. I didn't know him personally. <laughs> yeah, maybe one of my past lives did. Yeah, we're gonna go to Versailles later. I mean, Versailles isn't in the city, it's it's outside, so... I figured we'd, we'd have a couple of days in Paris before we go out and do Versailles. Versailles is beautiful, but it's you need a couple of days. You need like three days to really get Versailles. There's just so much there. Yeah, because like, we could spend a whole day just doing the grounds, and then you have to go into the castle itself. Well... It's not really even a castle. A castle is the wrong word to use for it. Palace probably would be a better word. It's a palace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like Buckingham. Yeah, it's better than Buckingham Palace. Yeah, it's. I don't know. <sighs> it is. It is. It is very, very impressive. I don't think there's a lot of structures in the world that are like it. No, no, I don't. But the gardens are really cool. We'll find ourselves getting lost there for a while. Oh, they're sprawling. We can get a bicycle, we can like run them, and we can go anywhere. That's what I did the first time. When I came to Riverside the first time, I just rented a bike. I just went all over the place. <laughs> yes. That's a Okay, we have to go back there because I swear to God. So I didn't like coffee until I came here. Had a f Yeah. <laughs> I need to go back and find that place because it was the best coffee I've ever had and I've been like the only reason I drink coffee now is to like chase that dragon is to try to find coffee like that coffee I'm being completely honest if it wasn't for that coffee I would not drink coffee in the morning no I wouldn't yeah we'll go see that we'll try to find that coffee shop if it's still around I think it should be it was fantastic it was the best cup of coffee I've ever had <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go run and get tickets. Uh, I mean, I think I know enough words to say two tickets, please. It should be fine. <laughs> yeah, you can... Yeah, I'll come back. I can take a picture of you. I know, I gotta be an Instagram boyfriend. Trust me, I know the angles. I know all the angles, baby. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back, okay? Don't go anywhere.